The project started with two 3D printed parts, a 2440 ground glass joint adapter, a 12 volt geared motor and two ball bearings. The part on the adapter was printed to a press fit. I had to heat it with a hot air gun to insert the adapter. The white plug is a Teflon overhead steerer bearing. You can get it for a few bucks on AliExpress. The 3D printed part on the adapter is also designed to secure the ball bearings by press fit. I used my vise to press them onto the 3D printed part. Next, I built a mounting bracket out of 10mm marine plywood. I plan to 3D print this bracket for a second version of the Roto Web as well. The mounting bracket was then painted four times. This was followed by gluing the rotation unit in place using two component epoxy resin. The motor mount was made from a cut to size aluminium angle profile and some 4mm aluminium sheet. This initial function test shows that the glass adapter is not a precision part and has a significant amount of runout. Of course, I had already thought about this beforehand and used a rubber stopper as a buffer, which also has the advantage that the glass tube does not rotate. Since the rotation unit needs to be tiltable, I screwed on two axle holders for 10mm axles. They have grub screws for fixing the axle. They are normally used to build 3D printers or small CNC routers. The next thing I did was to take care of the geared motor control. In addition to a few small parts I used a 12V speed controller, which you can get for about 10 bucks on Amazon, and a suitable plastic box. Here you can see the whole thing wired up. I also made a bracket out of 3mm aluminium sheet. One of my famous blue kitchen boards measuring 500 by 300 by 20 millimeters served as a base plate again. In the following I used 4040 aluminium extrusion profiles and accessories for them. In total I used three profiles, one with a length of 400 millimeters shown here, one with a length of 500 millimeters and one with a length of 100 millimeters. The aluminium profiles have a continuous 6 mm hole in the center for cutting an M8 thread for mounting. Another axle holder which I made off camera was then attached to the 400 mm extrusion profile. It can be adjusted in height. The various accessories for the 4040 extrusion also include the hinge shown here.
The hinge was then screwed onto the 500mm long extrusion, which I had meanwhile also mounted on the base plate. Next I covered the top of the 100mm long extrusion with self-adhesive form rubber tape. You will see later in the video what function the hinge fulfills. The pivot axle was made from a 10mm stainless steel rod and the adjustment lever from 12mm PVC sheet. A matching flange serves as a connector. As usual, I use pipe clamps and 8mm threaded rods to mount the glassware. Since we are working with reflux here, I am using a 200mm long aline condenser. I had to shorten the bracket for the electronics box before mounting it. The direction of rotation of the geared motor is important. It must rotate in the same direction as the compression fitting of the Teflon overhead steerer bearing is screwed in, otherwise the fitting will loosen with time.
And here you have it, the finished DIY Rotoweb. So let's test it. At this point I would like to say, please support my work on Patreon. I have so much more to show, but I can't do it without your help. Thanks for watching, stay true, stay you.